just wanna be with you. When I was doing older makeup tutorials. All right, I'm watching Andrea Renee, but I wanted to show you my little setup when I do my makeup. I have a push to the side because I'm not doing my face right now. I wanted to today, but I changed my mind. So this is a little container that I use and I put all the products in it that I plan on using. So like when I come in to down to my face, the makeup that's in here is what I'm using. And this, oops, and this has in it mascaras, liners, eyeliners, lip liners, and other tools. Okay, so this is what I have my makeup in. All right, I did these nails the other day and I'm disappointed and I'm reminded why I'm gonna give these away. These are obviously press-ons. That's all that I do. I love the length, love the style. You can see the glue beneath the nail on the thumb, on the middle finger, on the pointer. And it's not necessarily always a gap of air. Sometimes it's literally the glue that is just clumped up under the, I don't even know. Anyway, I it only is a problem with light colored nails. So with this base part of it being so light, that's the issue that I have. So I'm not gonna use these anymore. I'm gonna give these away. I'm gonna take these off at some point midweek because it's just not gonna flow with me <laughs> for the week. But I did these yesterday. I do need to keep these on and get some use out of them. Not to mention the glue is just so raw. I need to give it a few days to loosen up and then I'm gonna take these off. I wanted to show you. All right now, so about this container, I'm gonna be doing a video testing new products out but I just wanted to show you what I you know what I keep this stuff in you've seen me use the Fenty 450 pro filter okay these Kosas powders are new got these in PR there's three of them so I look forward to using those and you'll just have to wait for the video to see like what is what but have some lippies Too Faced sent me a bunch of lip glosses gonna be using that by Terry I did use this in a video I just need to edit it so these two are existing the Huda Beauty and the Rare Beauty one this is existing we already know that this one I used in a recent video but I want to continue to see how I feel about it one size secure the blur primer and then the naked wild west palette I use in the video as well this is a Vanessa Juma palette I've used this once used this once still want to use it some more that's why I still have it here I want to use some more eye patches so I put I want to use some more eye patches so I put those here I you know what I got this a while ago never used it this is the color deep three need to try this out so I pull it out I have so many foundations that I have not used and it's just time I, I gotta rotate through so you know I'm gonna try this one and then I've used Use this one once or twice. This is the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. So I plan on using this this week as well. <clears throat> and then the Rare Beauty blushes are down there. I get, I got a question one time. Somebody was like, you know, you said that this was your found your favorite foundation. What happened to this? Here's the thing. I have a lot of favorites and it's my job to try out different products. This is what I love to do. So if you see me not using something, just ask if it's still one of my faves, but I have to rotate through and I haven't been doing a good job. And that's why I got this foundation probably like four months ago and I'm just now using it because I've been I'll look I'll stick with one foundation that I really love and it's like no I need to be rotating through because I have a lot like I probably have 10 foundations that are new that I want to try that I have not gone around to yeah I just re replaced a few things in here some glosses and some regulars like I have this eye cream that I use a few times when I use it some more and you know the eye putty Amand NARS concealer what have you it's evening time it's time to wind down and I'm sitting in one of my favorite places I think this is the favorite place I think I know my favorite place of the house the bathroom I spent a lot of time here oh, it's cozy I have my whole setup here my iPad my speaker my space heater my steamer my skincare the bath I just I got a candle usually going I'll light it in a second it's just a whole thing here so just my peaceful sanctuary ah, I need to like get myself together my hair is itchy I should co-wash it because it's itchy yeah it's more itchy than usual <laughs> It don't normally feel like this. It don't normally feel this way. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna do a whole thing today. I'm going to co-wash my hair. Just means washing with conditioner. I finished this conditioner that I got in a Sephora gratis box with the Sephora squad. I believe I finished this in two uses. You know why? Because my hair is really thick and this is not, oh, it smells so good. Oh, I wish they had this in a fragrance. What? A body fragrance? Wow. It is not a big container and my hair is really thick and I like to use an ample amount of product to really ensure the hydration. This was good. It just finished fast because the container is small. I have cream of nature. It's cream of nature. It's actually a leave-in conditioner product, but I use it just to wash right out. It still hydrates my hair, but of course it'll work really, really well if you were to do it as leave-in conditioner. And I really could leave it in overnight. I don't like going to bed with my hair wet. We'll see how I feel when I get in the shower. That's what it'll determine that. I also need to nair my legs. I'm going to do a face mask. I'm going to watch something on YouTube. I'm watching this video, Six Steps to Improve Your Emotional intelligence, the TED talk. So it's a whole thing. So I'm gonna brush my teeth, 
then mask and nair while I watch the TED Talk, multitasking. Co-wash my hair first, then shower. Then I'll come sit back down and then do my skincare. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do tonight. Maybe we'll treat it up tonight. I don't know, depending on how I'm feeling. You know, the skincare can be really long and drawn out and just relaxing, or it can be quick, quick, quick. I can't snap with this finger. I'm gonna talk through the nighttime skincare stuff, okay? Because I wonder if you have questions about nighttime skincare. All right, I showered and co-washed and look at my nose, it's so red. So there are different kinds of clay masks. Excuse me, let me get some lip balm going before I start talking. This is Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. So good, so thick, so great. I use it day and night, it's just fantastic. This is my steamer. There are two types of clay masks that I have discovered. Clay masks that strip the skin, draw impurities out of the pores, and they are usually harsh. So if you have dry skin, you don't wanna put a clay mask where you have dry skin on your face. Keep my skin hydrated. So if you wanted to use a clay mask that has, let's say, bentonite clay in it or something that's gonna strip the skin, I use that only in the areas where I get greasy, oily, and that's my T-zone. So I only put this Glam Glow mask in my T-zone, but you bet this thing was burning. Uh, maybe that's what means it's working. And a little tightening, you know? So that's not a mask that I would put all over my face because I wouldn't want the rest of my face to feel dry. This Innis Free mask, and this one is hydrating, so. So like I said, I've discovered two types of masks. The one that I would put all over my face would be a more hydrating one. If I just wanted to use one that is stripping, I only put that in my T-zone. Now, I really wanna, I wanna do a face mask. It's just been a while. But you know what I'm gonna do first? I'm gonna put my acne medicine on first, okay? So you can definitely layer that. So my acne medicine is clindamycin lotion. And this is because I have rosacea. This is from my dermatologist. It's very important that if you're following me and taking tips from me or any other skin enthusiast or esthetician, make sure you also have a dermatologist if you have problematic skin, if you have acne, if you have an excessive amount of dark spots, if you have any kind of rashes or you know uneven skin that you just can't get rid of, if you have any kind of problems, like big problems, I encourage you to be working with a dermatologist because even though I use all these fun products, that do work. I also use a prescription that really helps to keep my rosacea at bay. So I do have rosacea and I take care of that under the advisement of my doctor. So there's my acne treatment. It's closest to my skin, so it's going to really work a lot better. It doesn't burn, it doesn't feel like anything but just a, like a, a serum, basically, but it works. And then I'm gonna use this. I got this in the mail from Loops. Looks fun, it's a face mask. Oh, I put my lip product on already. I wanted to use their lip mask as well. Let's see. Let's see, maybe I'll do both of them, let's see. Oh, and the steamer, I get questions about that. How often do I steam whenever I feel like it? When do I feel like it? It just depends. Depending on your skin, if the steamer is drying out your skin, then to me, you're not hydrating your skin enough. You see how I sat here and I put on my acne medicine. You wanna make sure you're putting on serums. You wanna make sure you're finishing off with a moisturizer and then sealing it all in with an oil. If you're gonna just steam and go to bed, of course your skin's gonna be dry. You have to make sure you are hydrating it with, like I said, the serum, the moisturizer, and the oil. So here's what it looks like. Huh, it's in this container. This is unique. I've never seen anything like this. I'm gonna do the face mask. Once I get tired of it, I'll take it off. I'll put a moisturizer on top. I'll put an oil on top and I'll go to bed. So this sheet mask is, is my serum in a mask form. And you know, you don't have to sit in front of the steamer while you mask, you can, you can't. To me, the steamer is just really, it's just really fun and, and relaxing. Again, this is my, this is my, this is where I be at, man, okay? This bathroom is where I be at. So I like to make it a whole thing. I just wanna be with you. Oh, sometimes I find myself this is not your cheap, thin sheet mask. This is almost, if not, a silicone, which to me means better, you know? So it has two sides to it. Peel it off. Ooh, this is so cold. And with nails, this is a little challenging because you might, ooh, might rip it. This went in my eyes. Jesus, God of mercy. Oh, that went right in my eye. Gosh, good thing it's not burning. <coughs> well, I did rip it because <laughs> my nails. There isn't any extra to put down my neck. So this is definitely not one of those masks that's dripping with serum. Normally, <laughs> the masks that I use have serum left in the packet and I'm like squeezing it on onto my face. This is not that kind of a thing. All right. Now, you know what? There is a lip mask to it and I really do want to just use it. So let's do that. Oh, but it allows an opening. <laughs> 
oh, I've never done this. I've never in my life done a lip mask. And I never would have thought that there would be an opening to talk. Oh my gosh, this is genius. That is funny. Have you ever done a lip mask and did it have such an opening? Now this is counterproductive around the edges, but that's okay. Like we're really like doing this tonight. We're really going for it. So if we're gonna go, let's go, you know? Now I already have a lip product on and the lip product is occlusive. So ideally I would have wiped off the lip, pro the lip product, but who cares? Now <laughs> I'll just do that next time. Ooh, I do feel a slight taste tangle. Hmm, what a tangled web we weave. <laughs> Oh, wow, what a tingle. Ooh, the steamer is done. Okay, praise the Lord. Turn it off, take this cartridge out. You wanna use distilled water, just basically not tap water. So purify, distill, your good either way. So this thing will avoid getting filthy and building up with bacteria. So I just use my water filter in the fridge. So I'm gonna take this out so I don't forget. I'm gonna put it on the side of the sink. If I see it, then I'll know that I need to refill it up. This is really quite the experience. Oh, have you ever done such a lip mask? I really do need to know. Let's push it up a little more. This is really quite intriguing. Wow. <laughs> I think I like it though. Like it, am I tripping? Cause I'm a Christian. Why do I feel like this? I'm feeling kind of distant, Lord. And I'm crying now. For more, oh, I'm feeling kind of distant. Oh. It's Tuesday, yo. Honestly, I feel, I don't know. It's like, I'm gonna get to what I'm getting to. I'm just gonna take a long way to get there. I, without so many words, but more so based on what I just picked up from my surroundings, I was raised to be a strong woman. I was raised to just get things done and not show so much emotion while doing so. So in the midst of this winter storm here in Texas, it's like, if you saw me and spoke to me, you would think that like, I don't care or I don't really mind. Whereas inside, I wouldn't say that inside I'm panicking or having some kind of explosion inside. What I would say is that I'm thinking a lot and I just can't believe it. It just feels like I'm living in a dream. So we just got home maybe two hours or hour and a half ago from a hotel and I haven't I haven't showered since, what's today, Tuesday? Since Sunday. I knew that there was gonna be a winter storm. I mean, we all did, right? But it just now makes me think back to Hurricane Harvey where we had power, we had water, we just didn't go anywhere for a week. My husband did go to the local grocery store and had to wait outside in line, but like I didn't go anywhere for a week, so we were okay, right? We, we had our groceries. But now through this winter storm, it's like, wow, we literally woke up in the middle of the night, no power. It's freezing outside, literally freezing outside. And I was like, we cannot, there's just no way. We can't stay through this. I don't know. I mean, granted, if I had no choice, yeah. I mean, you just figure it out. But I'm like, with a with a toddler, like I just don't even know what that would look like. And I always try to do my best to think about what, how these kind of things are gonna impact him going forward. I don't know, I just don't want him to be like afraid or just have these horrible traumatic experiences because he came running into our bedroom. It's dark, there's no light and he bumped himself on something running, right? And I was like, why is it so dark? And I was like, oh my God, there's no power, but we went back to sleep. Got back up, no power. And I'm like, okay, yeah, this is unbearable. It was cold. We just went to a hotel, thankfully found one. There were a few that didn't have any power. Come to find out, I, I found out today after talking to the hotel lady, the director of sales, that hotels in Houston don't have a generator. I don't know what that's about. I don't know what that means. I'm just shocked, okay? So go to a hotel, we got groceries and the hotel had a had a fridge and a microwave. So I'm like, okay, good. You know, we can just camp out here for a little bit. I don't know how long, we'll just chill out here and call it, and call it a night. Friends and stuff looking for places to go. You know, we're just trying to stay in touch, that kind of thing. Well, we were at the hotel from maybe nine, 9 a.m. and then it was about 5 40 5 40 ish and all of a sudden boom and i'm like it's black so i'm thinking sure enough in a second or two the generator's gonna kick in and we're gonna be okay mm -mm. call downstairs bah, bah. the phone line doesn't work nothing now mind you this was getting toward nighttime so my thought was okay well why don't we just go to bed and when we wake up there'll be power hmm. i barely slept just uncomfortable just all these things side note no power meant no running water which meant bathroom was quite a situation, okay? Woke up to no power. Now, thankfully, the hotel wasn't freezing, so it was actually kind of hot at night. We were sweating a little bit. And I'm like, wow, there's no power, so I'm calling all over. Places either don't have power to answer the phone, like it's going 
beep, beep, like that busy signal, or it's like we're full. And I'm thinking, do we go to San Antonio? What do we do? We need to do something. Because again, yeah, we could tough it out as adults, I suppose. But I, my, I just kept thinking like, I just, and if you have any children, young children, it's just very hard, okay? And, and obviously like, even we have the Ring app, so all kinds of locations, back to back. I have a newborn, I have this, I have that, we're, we're cold, we're freezing, what do we do? All these things. And just imagine, right? But in all of it, you would never know how I was really feeling. But I, I really was like, wow, like this is, if, if it felt like we're living in a movie and I can't lie, even now, it feels like we were just in a movie. It doesn't even feel real. I need to really sit with it tonight and really like digest what just happened. Cause yeah, it was scary driving and there being little to no cars on the road and then not knowing what hotel to go to, calling and either not getting through or you call, I just need to know if you have power and availability. We're like we're in the car right now. We have our suitcases. We just need somewhere to go. And obviously grateful that we even have the finances to be able to go into a hotel because not everyone can do that so you know all these thoughts in my mind like lord this is just so scary the hotel lost power so then this morning tuesday we left we're like okay you know what maybe we'll just stay here and we just don't have running water there was a microwave but you can't use it and we had food but you can't warm it up so it's okay let's just go and maybe we'll find a random starbucks or a target that has starbucks inside and we can go sit down at the table get some coffee get a little get a muffin use their wi-fi kill some time and then come back in the afternoon and then maybe there'll be there'll be electricity because the thing again we're trying to entertain a five-year-old because he was getting antsy and it's just a lot so we leave icy road conditions but it wasn't horrific we were making our way very slowly we found gas randomly like at some point the gas was like 330 way higher than it normally is i don't even know if that's if that's legal but we had to get it because we had a half tank but just wanted to be safe put our gas tank up and we had gone to target got a few things like body wash and just like i had to get tampons just stuff you know we're in target boom black and I'm like, okay, surely, again, I'm thinking, I just, in life, surely you think like in a second or two, it's gonna come back on. I'm thinking of generator. Well, didn't come back on. So I'm like, are they gonna make an announcement that we should leave? And in Target, the music was still playing. So Mary J was in the, um, still playing. I'm like, huh? The radio still plays, okay. So we're like, do we leave? We had a cart full of stuff and no one seemed to really be in a panic. The Target wasn't packed, but people were there. And I'm like, okay, this is kind of scary because if somebody wanted to go psycho, you really could. I mean, just all kind of thoughts. I'm like, okay, let's just go cash out. So they closed other places, lots of places closed, which makes sense. But imagine those people who are looking for food. You're like, okay, what what is open right now? Because we need food. <sighs> we're driving around. We finally found a Wendy's, you know. I don't eat this stuff anymore. I had a burger and fries. We didn't lie for like 45 minutes, but we're like, let's just do that. And we found out that our, our power was back on, but then you know they're rationing. So even, I can't even lie, I kind of have anxiety right now because I'm like, what if this just goes off right now? Then what, you know? I, I turned the heater on, I'm trying to heat the house. We came in the house, it was 51 degrees. We came in the house, knees taking a nap. I'm just doing what I know relaxes me. So I'm about to shower, I'm about to co-wash my hair. I'm about to just lotion myself up. I'm just sitting here doing my, my usual zen. The bathroom is my zen area. I'm watching a YouTube video. I have my space here on, but it's off now because I want to talk to you. But I'm just doing my usual zen, but I can't lie. Part of me is like, because they're rationing. Ghana, in Ghana, we call it dumso. So it's like, when is it going to go off, you know? And I, I just hate that feeling, but I feel like we just been living in a nightmare. It could be worse. That's what I keep on thinking about and just being thankful. I have a mega headache, but again, it could be worse. But I have really been thinking like, wow, you know, we really take a lot of things for granted. And I, I, I do reject the spirit of anxiety. I do reject the spirit of fear. Take for granted a warm shower, like a warm warm bath. People don't even get to have a warm bath. People don't even get to have a bath. I mean, also people don't even get to use soap. Maybe the soap that they're using is like not even as moisturizing or fragrant as the ones that we get to enjoy every day. You know, I'm sitting here in this bathroom that could be this, is literally the size of some people's bedroom, literally the size of some people's studio apartment or some, you know, someone's whatever. And here I am. I am generally a grateful person, but this has made me even more like I said to my I don't normally carry cash I don't carry cash and with COVID it's like who wants to carry like you know corona cash but I really was like god you know I'm gonna give this lady something like do I give her a check who wants a check you know and do I ask her a cash app I don't know just cash app but I just wanted to give her something and I forget her name I, I looked at her name on her badge but I forgot what it is but what I'm gonna do is when all this stuff settles down I'm gonna go to the bank and get cash and she works there so you know I'm gonna go back to the hotel to the front desk in a few days like, like in a week I'm gonna go back to the front desk and just write her a card she was just so sweet to me so i just want to bless her with something you know these people they had to stay at work they had to they 
have to stay at work to help people like us. And all the while, their families are making do. And I just, obviously the same goes, the same range true for all first responders. And I, it just, it just breaks my heart. I just, I don't even know, man. And I'm just grateful to be alive, grateful to have the little things because there are some people that don't have those things right now. It really is an eye opener. That's my update there, better. All my friends pulled up for good vibes, we know. I did my makeup in natural lighting. This is so high up, hello. When I was putting on my sweatshirt, I should have put a towel here, but I didn't. So I got makeup on my shirt and I used a makeup a makeup wipe to clean it. And now I, I need this to dry in order for me to do film the content that I need to film that's due tomorrow. I had a different pair of lashes on, it's the same ones, but I was saying last week that not every pair of D22 lashes come and look the same. These are very, very fluffy, more fluffy than normal. And I'm okay with it, but the other pair that I had on was obnoxiously fluffy. So I threw them in the trash and I put on a new pair today because I could not go with the other one. It was just too much for me. And that's the joy and the benefit of wearing lashes that cost like $2, right? So I'm waiting for this to dry. It's almost there. I could use a fan, but it'll make me cold and it's cold outside. Thank God it's warm in here. Thank God it's warm in here. It's not the way it was Monday morning. So thank God for that. Power was on for maybe an hour and a half, two hours. So I'm thinking that it It'll be back on around. Alrighty, so I was actually explaining to you that we have had power all day on this particular day. And as a form of therapy, I did my makeup and then I was showing you the actual palette that I used. My sound and the radio frequency just really messed me up, but I have figured out a way to fix it. So that should not be happening going forward. I got a package in and I want to see who it's from. Oh, how fun is this? Wait, what is this? Was this for Valentine's Day? Did I get this in late? Yeah, this was for Valentine's Day. Oh, how sweet. This is from my first day beauty family. How sweet is this? Love a good Rhea. I do the nice in my brightening cream. Love a good Rhea. Wow. Ooh. Okay, Facial Radiance Dark Spot Serum. I literally finished mine already. Did a campaign with them on IG. If you saw it, love it. I finished it. I'm gonna definitely be opening this up because I need another one. Wow, thank you, First Aid. Oh, look at this. This is a pamper. Oh, it's a whole kit. You got the cleanser, hyaluronic hydrating serum. Yes, moisturizer, radiance pads, mm -hmm. lip therapy. I'm here for all of that. I'm here for all of that. What else? Oh, body eraser body, excuse me, bump eraser body scrub. You know all that. It's called strawberry skin. We don't want any of that. So this is good for that. Love it. Celebration of hometown pride. I'm so rough. I just be wanting to see stuff quickly. Oh my gosh. Yo, do y'all know? I know they're watching. Hannah, thank you so much. Do y'all know that I love candles? Like, is it obvious? Gosh, candles make me so happy. They make me so happy. This must have been for Valentine's Day. It had to. And I just now got it. I got it like two days ago. Hmm, okay. Ooh, soy wax blend. Mm, 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 mm. Love letters. How sweet is that? I'm just a candle junkie at this point. It's a card. Oh, it says Nana on it. Okay, I'm gonna open it in a second. Oh, this is so, this had to be for Valentine's Day. This is so beautiful. What is it? Is it jewelry? <laughs> Who's France? From France? Oh my gosh. Ooh, is it chocolate? It's chocolate. Okay, it's chocolate. Yeah, this was Valentine's Day. How sweet. Love it. Minna, welcome to the Fab Ambassador program. Ooh, is it a robe? Oh, you know I love a good robe. What we got? What we got? What is it? Oh my goodness. What is it? You already ah, oh, you already know what I need. You already know what I need. And you know I love white. Come on. Why you gotta do this to me? Why you gotta do this to me? Ooh, it's a nice big plush robe. Yo. Oh my gosh. PR is just Christmas every day. And I'm so grateful. XO Fab. Big. Oversized. Yes. I like my stuff tight. I like it big and oversized. Oh my gosh. I'm putting this on tonight. That's a fact. Wow. Y'all, thank you so much. This is this is speaking all of my languages. This is all speaking all of my languages. So thank you so much. Mm -hmm.